We've all been there. You have a litter of quality young players that need playing time but aren't good enough for your first team yet. You'd expect clubs to be queuing up to take them literally for free, but instead they sit on their hands and stick their fingers in their ears. So how do we combat that and make them realize what is right in front of their eyes? Well, today we find out. We do this on stream all the time, and it actually got to the point where we had 83 players out on loan at one point because of this. And of course, I stream Tuesdays, Thursdays, and Saturdays, 11 till 3, and I'm actually live right now. Now, as is often the case with stuff like this, it's not going to suddenly overnight make it so every single player you want to get out on loan is going to get a loan. It's more a set of best practices that I use to make sure that I'm going to get the maximum out of those players, and the maximum number that is feasibly possible can get loan. So temper your expectations there, I suppose. But even if it can just help you get an extra few guys here and there out on loan, hopefully that will still be of importance and useful to you and your save. I have seen quite a lot of talk that the system for loaning players out is a little bit broken in the sense that it doesn't really work that well. And I don't think that's entirely true. I just don't think it works exactly the way that people think it does. It needs a bit more explanation. And it seems that clubs need a little bit more coaxing in order to actually make them do anything. Now, this method has several steps, but for me, it's the most effective method of getting your players out on loan, especially if you're trying to force them to clubs in your league or at the very least in your country. Say you're doing a building a nation save or something like that. So these are the players that we're going to be testing this with today. You can see that obviously I have a large chunk of them. Yours probably won't be quite as large as this. I made sure I assigned some extra guys, especially for this. That way we could have a few more players to test this on. The view that I'm using actually will be quite important, but I put a link in the description to the view that I'm using as well, so you can download this exact view. But the most important columns in this one is the loan status one, as well as the player status one, but it's most importantly the player status expanded one. That way you can see all the icons without having to worry about it flittering all over the place. It's a nightmare, but yeah, the full one is what's needed. The next step, which is somewhat overlooked, but I still think that it serves a purpose and does still have a slight effect, is to make sure that those players that you've now listed for loan are added to the development list. If you're unaware of how that works, the way to do that is to go to the player's profile, go into transfer and hit add to development list. Once you've added the player to access the list, you go into transfers under director of football, you'll see it here listed as development list. And once you've got those players in there, it should look a little bit like this. Now, when you add each player, it's important to set up the parameters over here as this is what your loan manager, if you have one, or probably your DOF, will be using to try to loan those players out in the meantime. Now, because this is a building a nation save, of course, I'm trying to force those players to go to Irish sites. But you can control all sorts of variables in here. Now, just adding players to the development list doesn't actually guarantee they're going to get any loans. In fact, in my experience, it doesn't seem to make too much difference in the grand scheme of things. However, what it does seem to do is drive up interest in those players, but not allow those clubs to make the first move. So for me, it's still good practice to make sure that any players you do want loaned are on this list. Now, this is all fairly straightforward stuff so far, but there's some stuff we're going to do in a minute that I think is what makes the difference. Now, the next thing you're going to want to do is manually go through and offer out every single one of these players for loan. Now, if you're not fussed about what league those players are going to go on loan to, and you just want to offer them out and see what happens, there is a way to do it very quickly. And that would be to go back to this list here. You now see all the players that are currently listed for loan. You should be able to select every single one of them, go into transfer, offer to clubs for loan. However, you do have less control over where the players go and what kind of offers you receive when you do it like that. So the way I like to do it is to go through one by one and do it. It can be a bit of legwork, but I think it pays off. And that's especially important if you're trying to loan players to specific leagues. So before I do that, let's just take a little look at how this is looking at the moment. You'll see there are a few players who are wanted by other clubs in our league, but the overwhelming majority of these players have no interest from other sides at all. And what would normally happen if you offered them out is maybe you'd get a bite from some of the clubs that are interested, but for the majority, you're just going to see clubs declined to make offer for player and about 30 emails saying that, which is what I expect we'll see in a minute. But then comes the cool part. So let's just offer these guys out now and I'll show you what I mean. So just out of interest, in case you're unaware, what I'm doing is I'm going in to offer the player out, then I set transfer offer, then loan offer, pretty standard. If you're obviously trying to offer those players out to clubs in your league, weirdly, I found it better if instead of excluding foreign sides, you actually specifically select the nation that you're trying to target. For some reason, that seems to work better for me. Now, I realize it's very dangerous kind of doing a live test of this right now because there's every chance that a lot of these players might still not get loans. But don't worry, I still have results to prove that this does work just with the number of players we already have out on loan, which I'll show you in a bit. So once all those players are offered out, we're going to hit continue and get bombarded with the wheel of all the different emails saying that the clubs declined to make offer for our players. But that's fine. You expect that. So you can see we have 33 different emails pretty much telling us exactly what we expected to see and what you're used to seeing and getting frustrated with every time you try to offer your players out for loan. Three of those players did get loans, but we expected that because those are the guys that were already wanted. So that's usually a good sign because at this point you'd be sat there thinking, great, but what about the other 33 players or whatever? What about them? Are they never going to get loans? This is where it gets interesting. So it seems to me that the very act of offering your players out for loans is not enough to get other clubs to bite. But what it does tend to do is weirdly drum up interest in those players from the very same clubs you were just offering them to. So the next step is to just let a day elapse, go to the next day, and then we're going to go back into that squad list. And I expect to see something. You'll now note that looking down this list, obviously the guys at the very top here were a couple of the lads that we already expected to see. So Scholl, Rucci, all that. But now look, look how many other players are now wanted by clubs in our league. It's actually quite a few of them. So there's two more here. 
another one there, two more down there, another one there. There's at least four or five guys, maybe even five or six actually, that weren't originally wanted by teams and didn't respond to it when we offered those clubs the player. But now all of a sudden, the next day are interested in those players. But the only way you'd know that is if for some reason, a day after you offered those guys out, you then went back into the list and actually went and looked through individually every single time, which you just wouldn't think to do. The reason this view is so helpful is because now with one look, we can just scroll down this list really easily and just hover over those wanted symbols without having to worry about it glitching out and can see that so many of these players are now wanted by other sides in our league. And that's where the next step comes in. So all we need to do now is go down this list, look at any player with the wanted symbols as of now, offer those same players out again, like we did literally one day ago. And I guarantee almost all of them will suddenly have loan bids coming in from those very same clubs that we just offered them to. And they said, no, it's almost like the first offer out just alerts the clubs to their availability, but it doesn't make them actually want to take action because they're very passive. But then the second time around, it seems to force them into action. And boom, as you can see, uh, clubs outline loans for basically every player on that list, with an exception of this guy here. And a couple of them have still said no. But you'll notice just how many or more of those players have just suddenly had loans coming for them that we weren't getting before. That's at least another five players with a few more in there that I'm certain will come in time. And you might think, okay, cool, that worked quite nicely. That's definitely helped. But is there any more? Yes, there is. There is one final thing for me that I think just gives you those few extra guys as well on top of that. And that is that clubs on FM are just incredibly passive. They have to sort of be coaxed out like you're trying to catch a wild feral cat or something into actually baiting them to do anything. You have to sort of leave the food out and hope that they come by in the dead of night and then slap a cardboard box on their head. It's a weird analogy, but you'll understand what I mean in a minute. So the next step after you've got this initial batch of players sorted is every two days, I would say, two days is what I use, just come back in, check this view, and you might notice that randomly, so more of those players now have wanted logos on them that they didn't before and didn't when you tried to offer them out. So we're going to progress a little bit and hope that that happens here as well. But even if it doesn't happen in this one particular scenario, just know that it definitely does. Just to prove my point, we currently have 75 players out on loan at the moment, and it's been quite an upward trajectory over the last couple of years. We were hovering around about the 40 loan player point for quite a few seasons, and in the last two years, it skyrocketed because we started doing this, basically. Now, this is, of course, on a macro level where we're trying to loan out inordinate numbers of players. You're probably not going to be trying to do this, certainly not at first anyway, but you will still see the results of this at a smaller level. You just wouldn't expect to see, you know, seven or eight each time. Literally an hour after we did that, random club was coming for one of the guys that the other clubs literally said no to a day ago. So he's now going as well, potentially. Boom, we've got a bite. This guy here, suddenly now wanted again. I think he might have been wanted briefly before, but it was a different club. And now he's back to being wanted again out of random without me doing anything. But just checking it every other day, make sure that if someone does randomly pop up wanted for one day, you generally speaking, you could check it every day if you want. Stay on top of it and can get that loan sorted. So we're going to try him now. And there we go. The loan was placed instantly. And now at this time, he is going to the club. One thing I have noticed, and this might just be completely apocryphal, is that if you have, say, for example, like we did, seven or eight loan offers at the same time on players, it feels like there's a limit on how many new ones can come through before those ones are resolved. And the moment that we finished off getting those ones, that is when this one popped up. That is kind of interesting. Might not be anything to that, but it's certainly noteworthy. And I do notice it happened a lot. This is exactly what I mean. So this loan has just officially gone through and there were no new ones that had cropped up in the meantime. But the moment that this one has completed, I go back to the list and suddenly find that a different player is now wanted by another Irish side in this particular scenario, this time in Bohemian. So this seems to be definitely a pattern I've noticed. And it's just about staying on top of this list, checking stuff regularly. And you should, over the course of well, certainly the first season was going to be great, but you should still over time be able to get more and more of your players out on loan. Right, another loan has been completed, so let's check back and see if any new boys have popped up. So this time around, no new players are suddenly wanted by clubs, which makes me think that the first batch are now burning out, but I'm still going to give it a couple more days to see if anything new changes. So it's now been a good week since we actually had any viable options for our players, which means that it's now probably time to go through and do the exact same thing again to offer them all out. Now, I suspect, as I said earlier, that if you are trying to loan your players all over the world, then you'd have actually got even more players out. But when you want to do it so specifically, I think this really does work well. So all in all, during this period, we've been able to get another 10 guys out on loan. Now, obviously, there's going to be diminishing returns for us doing this because, of course, we already had 75 players out on loan. But I suspect that if you do this, you will still see a larger amount of players able to find loans than you would have done prior. And that's really all we can ask for at this point, isn't it? So hopefully this has been helpful to you in some way, even if it just allows you to get a couple of extra guys out on loan. And given that our transfer window here is actually rather small, your larger summer windows and bigger winter windows could actually provide you more time with which to find loans for your players. So if this has been helpful to you, drop a like, that'd be fantastic. Subscribe if you're new, share with your friends if it might help them, and I'll see you guys very soon for another video just like this.